about or this is video two of iTech Sharp tutorial found this uh, website but how to use it you know simple to advance um, samples creating PDFs and on this video we're gonna create a sample really simple we're gonna save and when I click save we're gonna save a bunch of stuff into PDFs I'll show you how I did that but right now let's see the output okay now after it saves we're gonna download a file and also I'll show you how I found this great code to have this window pop up in this case we're gonna do open couple seconds we'll see what we we save on now let's drag it over here as you can see we can create a header on the PDFs and a background and a regular you know text on it and when you drag you know mouse over the website you can see you can put a link to it so like a hyperlink you can center your text and on this one it gives you instead of taking to a website it will take you uh, to this site to this specific point in the PDFs also you can do a list you know one two three all the way down you can create tables and you can put color, background, and all that fun stuff. Um, and let me move it down. You can see at the bottom of the page, you can do page one. And then if it's page two, it will continue counting down. Now let's close this one. And then I'll show you how I did this. The save button is where we have all the code in it so first what we have to do is create an instance of the iText sharp object and in this case I'm passing the page size which is later and you can ch you can choose something else if you if you like okay got legal and all that basic formats so let's leave it under later after that in this case we're gonna save we're gonna actually save the file name into this variable I'm gonna 